Good morning and welcome to this service of morning prayer on Wednesday the 27th of May, which is wonderfully sunny and warm. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. And close our with power from high. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Creator God. To you be praised and glory forever. As your spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as a foot of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. 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 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like needles. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the, Glory Father, to the Father, and to the Son, to the Son and, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit. 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 As it was at the beginning, the beginning is now, now shall it shall be forever. forever. Amen. <clears throat> the night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. 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 The psalm point is 29. Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. <clears throat> he makes Lebanon skip like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord spits the flash of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forests bare. In his temple all cry, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the, the beginning, is now and shall be forever. 
Our first reading is from Numbers chapter 23. So Balak said to him, Come with me to another place from which you may see them. You shall see only part of them. <coughs> then curse them from me from there. So he took him to the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah. He built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Balaam said to Balak, Stand here beside your burnt offerings while I meet the Lord over there. The Lord met <coughs> Balak, put a word into his mouth and said, Return to Balak and this is what you shall say. When he came to him, he was standing beside his burnt offerings with the officials of Moab. Balak said to him, What has the Lord said? Then Balaam uttered his oracle, saying, Rise, Balak, and hear. Listen to me, O son of Zippor. God is not a human being that he should lie, or a mortal that he should change his mind. Has he promised and will he not do it? Has he spoken and he will not fulfill it? See, I received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot revoke it. He has not beheld misfortune in Jacob, nor has he seen trouble in Israel. <coughs> the Lord their God is with them acclaimed as a king among them. God who brings them out of Egypt is like the horns of a wild ox for them. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, no divination against Israel. Now it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, see what God has done. Look, a people rising up like a lioness, and rousing itself to lion. It does not lie down until it has eaten the prey and drunk the blood of the slain. Then Balaam said to Balaam, Do not curse them at all, and do not bless them at all. Balaam answered Balak, Did I not tell you, whatever the Lord said, this is what I must do. So Balak said to Balaam, Come now, I will take you to another place. Perhaps it will please God that you may curse them for me from there. So Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor, which overlooks the wasteland. Balaam said to Balak, Build me seven altars here, and prepare seven tools and seven traps for me. So Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a book and a ram on each altar. Here ends the first reading. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. Is now and shall be. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A reading from Luke chapter 8. No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed but puts it on a lampstand, so that those who enter can see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, 
nor is anything secret that not, will not become known come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen, for to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to see you. But he said to them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A gale swept down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was a calm. He said to them, where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed and said to one another, who then is this that he commands even the winds and the water and they obey him? This is the end of the second reading. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle the hearts of, the of your, your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Come Holy Spirit, Spirit. Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the faith of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit, and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people, and kindle in us the fire of your love. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, one of the house of his servant David. Through the promise, God to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors mm. and remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was, as it was in, the in the beginning, is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and, and, and has led captivity captive. captive. Hallelujah. Yes. Let us pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we pray for the day ahead. We pray that you will bless and guide the decisions we take and the conversations we will have. Lord, may we be instruments of peace. 
this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church and we pray for the outreach of thy kingdom come movement. Father, we lift before you all who minister in your name, those who struggle to fulfill the call that you made on their life during this period of lockdown. May your Holy Spirit inspire us and flood us with your light that we might be beacons of hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our hear prayer. Our prayer. <clears throat> we pray for our brothers and sisters of other faiths, thinking of the sorrow Muslims must feel at not being able to celebrate Eid. We pray, Lord, for your peace in their hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the world. Lord, give them strength and courage and wisdom and humility that they might work for the good of all people. We lift before you this morning, in particular, the people of Hong Kong and pray for a peaceful and just resolution to all that's happening there. Lord, in your mercy. Hear hear our <laughs> Father, I lift before you the children of the world those who do not have the childhood you would wish for them. I think of refugees and orphans, those with poor sanitation, children who will go hungry, children who cannot access ed education. We think of those who are ill, and we think of those who have to care for others when really they should be cared for themselves. We pray for those who are abused. Lord, we pray that you will wrap your loving healing arms around them and protect them through these difficult times. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we lift before you all those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. In a moment's silence, let us just lift to God those we know in need of his healing presence at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for all key workers. Give them strength and patience and courage. I think of all those who quietly go on doing all that is needed for our country to keep running. We think of delivery men, postmen, refuse collectors, those who work in schools, hospitals, care homes. Father, we thank you that they give willingly and unselfishly and pray you will be with them all. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Yeah. And in a moment's silence, let us lift before God all those things that worry us 
and all those things that our friends and family and our church family worry about. Lord, in your mercy, and the collect for today. O oh God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as <laughs> our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 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 May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.